Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to access the endpoint which are secured using JWT token authentication mechanism using the rest assured framework. So first of all, I'm going to create a new package. And the package name is JWT auth. Inside this package, I'm going to add a test class. And the name of the class is test endpoint with JWT. So these are the steps which we are going to follow. First, we are going to register the user, then authenticate and generate the token, extract the token, and send the get request along with the JWT token. Let me add some starting import for the rest assured. The first three steps will be common for all the test method. So I'm going to create a setup method and place the code corresponding to first three step in the setup method. So after this, I'm going to create a private variable that will hold the body for the request. And I'm going to use an online website that will convert the JSON body into a string with scape character. So this is the website. This is the body. Just click on scape button and you will get a string with the scape character. So this is the body which I'm going to attach with the request. And this body contains basically the username and password which we are going to register. So given dot. Now this is a post request so we need to attach the body and the body is in the JSON format. That's why I need to specify the content type. Content type dot JSON. Then attach the body. After that, send the request. So when post and this is the endpoint URL. In order to make sure that the registration happened successfully, I'm going to assert on the status code. Then assert that status code is 200 OK. So this is going to register the user. Then we need to generate the token. So let me create one more private variable that will hold the token value. And I'm going to initialize it with empty string. So given content type as JSON dot body when post and this is the endpoint URL. dot json path dot get so if you look at the response of authenticate endpoint we receive the response in the json format and token is the keyword so i will use here get and the property name is token and i'm going to store this inside our variable the annotation which i'm going to use with this method is before so this is our setup method. Now I'm going to create the test method. And the annotation which I need to use with test method is at the rate test. So given when I perform the get request,
and this is the endpoint URL. So before I send the GET request, I need to attach the header. The header will have the information about the JWT token. So first I'm going to create a map data structure. That map data structure will contain the header. And the header will be in the string format. New hash map. And I'm going to initialize this hash map here. So this is the first header and its value. Second header. So if I click on eight hidden header, you can see this is how the JWT token header is attached. It is in the form of authorization header. So this is the key and this is your token. The token is prepended with a keyword that is bearer. So this is how we need to attach the JWT token along with our get request. Plus token. And I'm going to pass this header in a method that is headers. So once we send the request, I'm going to do the assertion on the status code. So in the similar manner, I'm going to create one more test method. In that test method, I will send the get request, but without the JWT token. So in that case, we should receive unauthorized as the status code. So I'm going to put a breakpoint at line number 40 and run this in a deeper mode. So this is the token which we receive. And now I will continue with the execution. So both of our tests are passing. So in this manner, you can access the endpoint which is secured using the JWT token.